Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are indeed watching this. It's Sam Prentice here, back with another video for you lovely, lovely people. Today I am reviewing the Nova 3D Bene 4, although I have heard it being announced as Beanie 4, but it's definitely Bene 4, so let's get to it. And here we are back again with the Nova 3D Ben A4 resin printer. This is the resin, it's called Nova Stan. It's a grey resin. Uh, literally, wavelength is 405, shake well before use, and store in a cool place away from light. So we'll make sure that we do that. So while I waffle on in the background here, the Ben A4 has a build volume of 130 by 70 by 150, which is a snot bigger than the Mars. The Ben A also has a slightly larger display screen at 4.3 inches, but what I was most impressed with is the Wi-Fi connectivity, which just works as you would expect it to. Nova's 3D comms back to me have been amazing, boasting a 24 hour support line. I'm guessing that's one of the reasons why they are currently sold out on the UK Amazon site. The flip cover is very good and very functional. I can see that tipping it back would be a better option than having to remove the lid and put it down somewhere, especially if you have limited room to move. The printer doesn't make that much noise and I had to check it a couple of times to make it sure that it was working. And of course it was. But comparing the noise of a normal FDM printer to this is just a totally different animal. The all metal resin vat is really good, but my only criticism would be having level measurements inside the vat so you know where your levels are. There are small pins in the bottom of the vat, which basically slot into place. There is no snapping mechanism on this printer, unlike some other printers. Well, you're certainly no fools, and I don't need to show you how to take a 3D printer out of a cardboard box. But inside this box, you do get a pair of snips, a couple of pairs of gloves, uh, a shiwi, oh no, um, a funnel, uh, you get a manual, uh, hair products, no, uh, that's a spray bottle for alcohol. You get a USB stick and you get some spare screws and um, Allen keys. In fact, also in that little packet, there are two screws that basically lock the vat into place, which I'm sure I'll be fitting in just a few minutes. These are resin funnel sheets. Uh, basically, you pull the resin in there and it catches any dried resin or old resin so you can basically reuse whatever you've got in your vat, which is pretty useful. I'll speed this bit up. I'm obviously very excited. Aha, the plastic scraper amazing fep film there's a spare one of those in there haven't used it yet but i know where i've put it in that box so the shape of the printer is actually a trapezoid and the design boasts a ball bearing slider in the z-axis the printing plate lifts up and you end up with the print being attached to the bottom of the plate this plate of course is detachable via a lead screw this slides towards you leveling the bed is made easy by removing the vat inserting a piece of paper between the build plate and the bed. You lower the bed down in the settings and continue to lower until the paper doesn't move. You'll see here in the background now that I'm actually testing the LED display, which works perfectly, of course. So it's actually at this point I was gonna set up a camera to uh, record the print process, but unlike an FDM, it's quite a boring process uh, and it just lifts up and you don't really get to see any of the print. But let's wait until the end and see what the results are. So this is Nova Maker, the software that comes with the 3D printer. I'm just dragging and dropping an image. Uh, this is a, a power coupler, and my job now is going to be changing this round and moving it around so I can get it into an orientation where I'm happy where it's gonna print, and then also add the supports. I'm no means an expert on this, um, so it's really good that Nova uh, 3D have made this so user-friendly and easy to uh, navigate. Uh, so I'll just keep messing around with this for a few minutes, moving it over. Uh, you put it on a slant, as I've mentioned before, so you don't get the suction cup effect. And uh, just lift this around and move him up. And as I said before, you can literally export this straight from your laptop, wherever you are, or your desktop, straight to the 3D printer, hit the button, and it's ready to go. Um, so moving on now, we're gonna move him up slightly. Moving around, a few corrections with the orientation there. 
just these off the ground as you can see. Now, obviously when it comes to uh, putting supports in, I'm no, I'm absolutely no expert on that at all. So this is where this button down here comes in really handy. And generate the supports, job done. It's really that simple. So really in this, you know, in this mode, you really want to be messing around, playing around with different options, see what works for you, see what you're printing, see what kind of effects you're going to get out of this. There's a button at the top, in the middle of the top, uh, which basically clicks onto your 3D printer. And if you've got your IP address and everything set up there, like I say, it's relatively easy just to knock that and, and make that happen. So I'm going to save this now. Um, I'm actually, this is the second video I've done because it was a, I had a problem with it, but I'll save this and I'm actually printing this at the moment. Um, so if I click over to the printer, hit the uh, IP address on the left, you'll see that we are a certain amount into that um, and you can see the supports. And this updates, you know, uh, bit by bit and you kind of get a good idea of exactly where the print's at. So how did the Ben A4 get on from Nova 3D? I've got to say, the prints that I've got coming out of this are absolutely amazing. Uh, give you an example, this is the resin print and this is an FDM print that uh, is at about 0.3, which is pretty awful. Um, this is a 0.1 FDM print, um, which isn't so bad, but you can kind of see the ridges. Uh, and this one is, uh, again, the resin printer, which, you know, I think, Overall, uh, the standard of this printer is just absolutely brilliant. So here are a couple more images. Thank you very much to Nova 3D for supporting me on this one. Uh, I've got to say, you know, this printer is absolutely phenomenal and thank you for letting me uh, get some use out of this. We are building a 39.1% track droid, so please follow my progress on this channel. Click and subscribe and we will see you next time.